Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today you find me back in Dawlish where I end up finding another rare fish in a rock pool, a new species of crab and much more. So if you go on to enjoy this video please leave a like and if you want to learn more about UK marine life like the species in this video then make sure you subscribe to the channel where you can find more videos like this one. But for now let me show you what I found in these amazing rock pools. The first find of the rock pooling trip was this shoal of lesser sand eels that got trapped in a rock pool. The beaches of Dawlish are home to many different anemone species, including daisy anemones. While I was filming this daisy anemone, this curious common prawn emerged from the seaweed to investigate my thumb. Here is yet another species of anemone found on the shores of Dawlish. This is a snake locks anemone and is one of my favourite species to find while rock pooling. This is the other colour variation of the snake locks anemone, and as you can see, this one is much more vibrant. Here you can see me filming a volcano barnacle that was feeding. In this clip you can see a smaller barnacle attached to the larger one, and this one was also feeding. Barnacles feed by extending their feather-like appendages, which collect microscopic organisms. The rock formations at this beach are always covered in different species of sea sponge. and there are typically lots of crabs sheltering in all of the cracks and crevices of the rock formations, like this edible crab. Here is a species of fish that is quite hard to find while rock pooling. This is a common dragonet, and as you can see, this species has some excellent camouflage. This is the most abundant species of dragonet found in the UK, and smaller individuals like this one can often be mistaken for a goby. As individuals grow into adulthood, 
they gain a bright coloration, which looks absolutely amazing. Lifting up seaweed on the shore often reveals hidden rock pools, which is a great way to find loads of amazing species, and this is how I find most of the sea creatures in my videos. I definitely recommend trying this out for yourself when you next visit a beach, but always remember to turn the seaweed back over once you're done looking for sea creatures. I wanted to make sure I filmed a lot of the seaweed species found at this beach, as some of them will begin to die off when the colder weather arrives. The rock pools are always full of common prawns, and they can often be seen amongst patches of seaweed or quickly darting in and out of their hiding places. This rock pool in particular had hundreds of prawns in it. I've never seen so many in a single pool like this before. The upper shore is home to many species such as common limpets, which have adapted to longer periods of exposure and factors such as temperature change and predation. Many of the rock pools at this beach were dominated by this type of encrusting algae. The encrusting algae can also attach to barnacles like you can see in this clip. Here you can see a velvet swimming crab burying itself in the sand. Crabs typically do this to stay hidden and escape predators.
Here is a common spider crab shell that I found. And soon after this, I managed to find a live spider crab. This species of spider crab is known as the long-legged spider crab and is yet another species that has some amazing camouflage. This small species has a small body with thin legs which they decorate with algae. One of the easiest ways to find this species is to gently run your fingers through seaweed, as this is their preferred habitat. Small species of sea snails like these flat top shells tend to dominate the pools on the upper shore. I do hope you all enjoyed seeing the amazing sea creatures I found during this rock pooling trip and be sure to let me know your favourite species from the video in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in your subscription feed. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.